Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I broadcast to RPAN pretty regularly and one of the most common things that I get asked is not only how do you broadcast from your desktop PC, but also how do you or where do you get all of the cool layouts and overlays and backgrounds that are part of my RPAN Studio broadcast? And the answer to that is, uh, I don't get the layouts anywhere. I actually make them. And I don't use Photoshop or anything fancy. I actually just compile just different images and elements that I find into a layout that works for my broadcast. So I thought that I would take a minute, make a video, and show you all what a typical broadcast layout would, would look like and how it comes together. So if we take a look at our Pan Studio, most of you would have probably found our Pan Studio by now. You have figured out how to add in your gameplay footage. You figured out how to add in uh, some of your social information, whether it's your Reddit name or your Twitch. Uh, you figured out how to add in your camera, which we've got a camera here. And this is kind of what I see a lot of people's broadcasts look like. And uh, it doesn't look very appealing. And there's a lot more things that you can do to make this look a just a, a whole lot better. So to start out with, um, I usually see a lot of empty space on a lot of people's layouts, and um, that's because there isn't really a layout. So let's look at what we can do to spice this up and make this look a lot more professional. Uh, so to start out with, um, I'm not going to get into the basics of making you know your webcam footage look good. I've got lights that I can turn on, but I've just got those off right now because we're making a quick little tutorial here. And um, let's go through here and see if we can make this look good. So I want to add in something behind my webcam. I want to get better use out of my webcam. I'm also going to want to put a background behind my gameplay footage. And then I'm going to find a way to add in my social information so that I can you know, do my ever promotion or whatever I'm going to do without making it look intrusive or get lost in the rest of RPAN. Because there's a problem. If you look at a typical RPAN uh, broadcast, right? And we're going to look at this. I did this screenshot from my phone from a broadcast that I did recently. If you look at how RPAN looks on a phone, it's actually narrower than the layout, right? This is 16 by 9. Most modern phones are a little bit narrower than that. So the left and right straight off the bat is getting cut off. So you want to make sure you don't have any valuable information on the left and right, whether it's like letters of your social or parts of your gameplay that are important or something cool in your camera that you want to be in frame that just won't be. You also want to account for the fact that there are little elements and buttons as part of our pan on the Reddit app that you're going to need to watch out for. There's buttons all along the right here. There's your scrub bar. There's all of the text in the bottom third. You've got your menu buttons on Android or like on an iPhone. You've got your menu bar. You've got the buttons to close, the buttons to broadcast. And another really important thing you have to watch out on is on mobile devices. This is an iPhone, right? iPhones have notches nowadays. This whole area is actually going to get cut off by the notch. See, a lot of people put their social information up here. No one's going to see it if they have notches on their phones. And that's a huge chunk of the uh, Reddit audience, right? So we're going to need to account for that and make sure that we don't do something uh, silly with our layout. So let's start adding elements to our basic layout and see if we can get it looking a little bit more professional looking. So straight off the bat, let's go and add uh, some sort of a background to our webcam. So I found a, a Game Boy Color. I love doing retro streams, so let's do a Game Boy Color stream. So I'm going to add a Game Boy background, and I've already added it in. And when you go and you add a picture, right, it's going to it's going to pop up just here, big and, and random, probably in front of everything else, right? And you're going to need to go and not only resize this, but you're going to need to um, get this to the point where it's like not in front of everything. So if we go through here and figure out how, like what kind of size we actually want here, let's get it right about the size of the canvas. And let's stick it right about here. That's about where we want our webcam. I'm fine with the webcam being in the lower third because there's going to be text in front of me and I'm not as important as my gameplay is. So you're going to have the element that you want to move. So this Game Boy overlay that we added in. Let's go ahead and hold the shift, uh, sorry, the control button down. 
and while holding control you're going to press the up and down arrows and that will let you reorder where things are. So the Game Boy background, I'm going to put it all the way on the bottom because I want it to be behind everything else. My camera, I want to be on top of that background, right? So the layering works out. The other thing I want to look at is I see a lot of people with full 16 by 9 webcams. Um, I am who I want to be watched, right? I don't need you to be watching my couch or the lamp. It's not important. Let's go ahead and crop that out. A lot of people know that they can, you know, just resize and, you know, drag things around inside of OBS, but you can also hold down the Alt button and you can crop things out of your images, or in this case, uh, your video sources. So let's also, let's crop out a little bit on this side as well. We can crop out above me. So this is really the, the, the thing that we want to, uh, to broadcast, right? So straight off the bat, things are already looking way, way, way better. We're broadcasting. The webcam is inside of a Game Boy Color uh, border here looks pretty cool so far. On a mobile, I know that the left and right is just going to get cut off, but on desktop, it'll look pretty cool. So let's do something kind of similar uh, for, uh, let's do something similar for our PC gameplay. Now, I added in something before, but let's go ahead and re-add it so you can see exactly um, what it would look like and what the process would be to go ahead and add it. So let's add in a new overlay. So I just Googled around, found an image that I wanted to use as an overlay, and we're going to call it um, Game Overlay. And let's go ahead and add in, let's add in this old school TV. I love to stream retro games, so I want to put this game inside of an old school TV. And because this game is widescreen, it's not really going to fit. And this 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 TV isn't really the right size. There's there's a bunch of, you know, empty space on the top and bottom. Well, if you hold down shift, you can go and resize things however you want to. And but then the, the speakers are on the left and right and I don't really want that. I want to fill up the space on the top and bottom. So why don't we go through and go down here where you right click it and hit transform and then we're going to rotate 90 degrees. Uh, see, now there's something we can use. What if we get this to the right width that we want, and then we squeeze it on into the right height that we want? Ah, uh, now we're talking. Okay. So right there, we've got our gameplay with a fun little border, and everything's looking a bit more premium. Now we're cutting off a little bit of the gameplay, so we should probably uh, make it just a tiny bit bigger, and then uh, the, the sides will get cut off a little bit, and that's okay, because we don't want to cut off much of the gameplay here. That's looking much better. We're going to hold down Control. We're going to click in both items so that way they move at the same time and I can use my arrows and inch it up and right like that we've got a layout that includes an overlay of our gameplay our gameplay a background for our camera and our camera so next we need to figure out what to do with our social information now some people like to put their social information on the very top sometimes they'll put the gameplay in the middle the top is going to be a really interesting area because notches and things like that can get in the way and I see stuff getting cut off all the time. Uh, the safest place that I found is going to be in the middle of your display. So I've gone in and I've added in some text. Let's go ahead and add in, so that's my Reddit username. Let's go ahead and add in uh, some other text. Let's go ahead and add in my Twitch name. So we're going to add some text. We're going to go to, let's see, Add in my name on Twitch. I'm going to add in, uh, let's change a font. Let's use this cool font. And I'm going to keep my fonts huge. I keep my fonts at 256 because it makes them look really, really nice. 
when they get blown up. Sometimes people use really low resolution text and it looks super choppy when they make it any bigger. So that's not good. So the other thing that we need to take into account is if we stick our text over here, there's a possibility that after the left and right gets cut off from being on a phone, half of these, these letters, right, could just get covered up by whoops, these buttons over here on the right, kind of like this is right here. We got lucky right here. It's just, you know, we just happened to not be able to see it. But we need to be really, really careful about text being cut off. Uh, we also kind of want to add in some logos, right? So uh, it's a good thing to double check before adding in logos for your social to make sure you're not breaking any um, uh, branding guidelines for any of these uh these media platforms, you know, like Twitch or Reddit, things like that. Uh, different companies have different brand usage guidelines, which you can, you know, Google for and look for those when you go and you download these brand assets. But we can go ahead and bring in uh, those those logos, right? We want to show like a cool Reddit logo. Let's bring that in, and it's going to be kind of big. Let's go ahead and shrink it down. So we're going to put a Reddit logo somewhere over here. And then we're going to do the same thing for a Twitch logo. Go ahead and add an image. Twitch logo. That's huge as well. Let me just go and resize it. You can right click and move these things around. Um, I find that I oftentimes just go and drag them to be smaller and then bring them into wherever I want to display them. So we're going to end up having. Uh, two socials, logos for the socials, and I don't want the black background. It just doesn't look quite as good. So let's see about adding in a background, something in between the TV and the Game Boy, um, but something that's that's behind, and I don't want it to look like just some random background. I want it to actually have some depth to it. So let's add in a background. Oh. Let's add in a background here. Let's add in, I've got some bookshelves that I took some pictures of upstairs, and we're going to hold down control and press down to bring it behind everything. So I've added in some some bookshelves just with some random games from upstairs, and um, that's got some nice shading on it. That could probably work okay, but I think I want it to be a little bit darker. I don't want it to make the text hard to read, so let's go and get that background that we added. Let's go and put a filter on it right quick. Let's use, uh, we can do some color correction here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so that it's kind of easier to see. So we brought the brightness down just a tiny bit. And right away you can see that it's a lot easier to see the text. And you can do some other cool things with um, making sure that you can see text. Like, for example, we can add in um, we can add in just a I've got a gray square that I just took a screenshot of. I've got this gray square, right? Let's go and we'll take this gray square. We'll go in filters. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's add some color correction here. And then I'm going to make it really dark here. And then I'm going to change the opacity to where it's like 50% opaque. And you see how it's basically, it's like window tinting, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So if I go and I add that in, and I again, I hold shift to squish the size down. I can actually add it underneath my text, and it is way easier to see in front of whatever's going on behind, right? So I can go and I can take my text and I can squish it down. I can take my logos, maybe squish them down a little bit further, and I can put that in the middle of this gray bar that I made. So we click on through. Let's get everything kind of lined up here. and. I'm going to squish down my social names here. And let's go ahead and get these moved into place as well. And we want to make sure that we give ample space on the right side for those buttons. Now, I could even stack these on top of each other. Um, 
I highly recommend going through, running it, and see where your logos end up being. Look at what your layout looks like on a phone. Um, I'd recommend seeing how your layout looks like on an Android device as well as an iOS device to make sure you're not getting something that's covered up uh, or covering something up because you didn't account for it. Uh, those kinds of things are really super important and those kinds of things change all the time and will continue to change as time goes on because, you know, uh, apps will change how they work and what they do and the, the, as the features change, your content needs to kind of evolve at the same time with it. So I hope that that gives you sort of a brief little overview of how you can make a really cool looking layout uh, with what, 10, 15 minutes worth of effort here just by bringing in some images and some other content. Just make sure that you, you know, have the rights to use the content that you're using. Uh, make sure you don't just, you know, steal other artists' artwork. Um, a lot of this stuff you can just find for free online made by artists who simply don't care if you use it. They have just for free to download. You can do whatever you want with. And um, yeah, have fun. It's a, our pan's a fun way to express creativity and, you know, express yourself. And you might as well have a really cool looking layout that uh, you can use at, at the same time, right? So enjoy. And uh, I will catch you if you see me on Reddit. I stream under the name The Loru. Uh, or if you want to catch me over on Twitch, I stream under The End of Scanline. And I stream retro video games a few nights a week in the evenings here on West Coast time. And I hope to see you all in chat. Good luck and uh, have fun streaming.